In this lesson, we are going to talk about the column space of a matrix. So the column space of a n by n matrix, abbreviated as just here, okay, is just this collection or set of all linear combinations of the columns of A. So, so if the matrix is n by n, okay, that means it has m rows and n columns. So that means the the column space must be the subspace of Rm, okay? So abbreviated form of this is just the collection of the vectors b, where b is equal to ax for some x or where x belongs to Rn, okay? So what this means is that if we have a system of ax equals to b, and let's say we want to solve that for some vector x, then if there's a solution, if the solution exists, that means that vector B belongs in the column space of A, okay? If not, if there's no solution, that means B is not in the column space of A. So let's look at an example of this. Let's say you wanna find the matrix A such that the given set is in the column space of A. So here's, so given here is the column space of A. So all we need to do here is just expand this in parametric form and that will give us the, the matrix, okay? Those will, those, vectors that we get will give us the columns that will form the columns of A. Okay, so A okay, is just going to be, okay, so first, let's first expand this out. So this set can be written as R times, okay, the vector 0, 1, four, three, okay, and then S, so you have S1, one, one, let's see, uh, one, and then negative one, and then for T, we have three, minus two, zero, and negative one. So that's written in parametric form. So now that tells us that the columns of A must be, right, must be these three vectors, 0, 1, 4, 3, 1, 1, 1, negative 1, and 3, negative 2, 0, and 1. Okay. All right. So this, so this gives you the matrix. This gives us the matrix that we need. Okay. For this, uh, for the column space.